Okay, so here is my Quincy 325 um, ROC10 air compressor. And it, as you can see, it looks much different, much better than it did um, last time when I made a video of it, which is before I did anything to it. When it was still um, in the outside was still in a bad condition. Actually, inside of it was in a really good, con fairly good condition. Um, it still had oil in it and stuff, but the the head of it had some carbon building up in it, and the valves were kind of rusted and stuff. So I cleaned all that up, and um, it looks real nice now. And I have te uh, this on it. This is on a test stand right now, and I have uh, spun it up earlier, and just a little bit earlier. And I did record that, but the crankshaft is still slightly bent on it. Uh, I did um, whack it some with a sledgehammer, but it wasn't big enough, so it didn't bend it too far back into shape. So hopefully, oh no, I, it, it's okay. Hopefully, I can get a sledgehammer that will um, hopefully be able to go and actually straighten it up. And Right now, I only have a three horsepower engine on here, even though it's supposed to have a five horsepower motor or engine on it. And for the air filter, I kind of jury rigged up a little thing here. So I have a um, lawnmower air filter, and then I have the original bottom part, but um, I did not have the original top part. So I have this like lid from some bucket, tiny bucket thing with a uh, lid from a container of some sort, plastic lid, um, kind of holding on there. It probably doesn't make the best seal, uh, but it's okay for now. I'm going to go and uh, make a better solution for it. Uh, so, uh, the tank. I don't have the tank with me. I do have a tank for it. But it's uh, more of a matter of getting the tank is uh, waiting for a day when it's not too muddy to um, get the tank out from the other property where it's at. And the tank may be bad. It's been out there for like 20 to 30 years. So and if it had water in it, then it's probably all rusted through. So I will probably rig up a pressure washer to hydro test it um, before I try to... Um, put pressure air pressure into it, so I have it unloaded right now um, with this other smaller air compressor um, to the air unloader thing there, and so I guess I will go ahead and start it up. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm I wanna load the cylinders. so it doesn't tip or anything. Uh, so it's supposed to wait on that side of the stand. Um, it's blowing air, so it's pumping air. Uh, the oil pump seems to be good since it's uh, holding in the pressure.
under a load this engine well it under a load it slips a lot the engine was still earlier I put it under load the engine was still running um, at a speed that I had it set to but um, it did slow down there was lots of slippage in the belt I only have a single pulley I only have like a single belt pulley on here right now um, the motor that was powering this thing that I think was powering this thing I didn't actually check when I was getting the compressor off of it um, but if it was powering it then it would have the right kind of pulley on it but it's a three phase motor so it wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to use that motor and I will eventually try to find a electric motor a five horsepower motor that I can power this with so I can have it inside my garage or shed to use but this is just a kind of a progress report video of it and so if you want to see more videos like this then subscribe and like more videos about cool things and subscribe and bye